Hello and welcome to my new scholarship episode. I am Dr. Mahmoud Ikram and you are watching SRJ Africa. Every student has a dream to pursue their uh, bachelor, master or the PhD program abroad uh, where there is a fully funded scholarship opportunity, where there is a, a opportunity of uh, good financial benefits as well as the, uh, the ranking of the universities also matter. So, uh, I believe uh, every student, if they can put little effort, they can easily win a fully funded scholarship in their desired country and desired university. Uh, so in this video, I bring a, again an exciting and amazing opportunity. Uh, one of the top leading universities in the world, uh, according to the QS ranking, this university is on 91st position. Uh, yes, I'm talking about the Tokyo Institute of Technology. Japan recently announced a international graduate scholarship for master and the PhD program. This scholarship has its own significance because there are numerous financial benefits. Uh, this university is a, a great attraction for international students. More than uh, 60 or uh, 65 uh, country students are continuing their study in this university on self-finance as well as uh, on scholarship basis. This university is providing many different scholarship programs like the top prestigious uh, scholarship program in Japan is MBXT, then Asian Development Bank Scholarship Program. This scholarship is the International Graduate Scholarship Program and also there are some uh, small uh, the partial scholarship program the university is also offering to international students. So in this video I'm going to talk about how you can apply for this scholarship, what are the eligibility criteria points, what are the different financial benefits the university is providing to international students. We will talk about further about the list of documents and also there is some specific condition of this scholarship that I will explain in this university um, scholarship video. In this video then we will talk about how you can apply. Uh, so I will provide the complete detail uh, SRG Africa is a platform that always try to uh, make the easiest, simplest uh, video of the most complicated and complex uh, processes that is sometimes the students are failed to understand or sometimes they don't understand completely. So this is our one of the mission. We are trying our best to assist students to uh, know more information, the detail and the depth information of any scholarship. And we also provide the right track, a right path through which the a student can easily apply by their own and win a fully funded scholarship in any university in the world. So let's go to my computer screen and uh, start this fully funded scholarship. Oh, I forgot to mention here, if you are new on my channel, so please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon. You will get the notification of all my future videos on time. Also, we have a WhatsApp group. Uh, you can see the QR code appearing on the screen. Simply use your mobile camera, uh, scan this QR code, and join our WhatsApp group. So now, let's start this fully funded scholarship for international students in Japan uh, at Tokyo Institute of Technology. Let's start. Welcome to my computer screen, fully funded Tokyo Institute of Technology International Graduate Scholarship in Japan for international students. Now the thing is here, every student is looking for a fully funded scholarship where it's no uh, requirement of IELTS or TOEFL. Yes, the great news is this, this university is not asking the international students to provide the evidence of international English language proficiency certificate. And so we will discuss in the, uh, the section of uh, documents uh, list. So where I will give more details about this requirement. So let's start first the eligibility criteria points. Uh, so there are many eligibility criteria points so that the university is asking the international students to first to look into it and then start applying their process for the application at this university. Uh, applicants who have completed 16 years of education master degree successfully from other than Japan, our host degree is going to complete before enrollment date are eligible for this scholarship. Many universities, they are asking the students to provide the 17 or 18 years of master for the PhD program. But this university is also accepting the students who have 
16 years of master program. Okay, six, but they have a condition here if you have completed already or you will complete your master program before the deadline of this scholarship application. In both cases, you are eligible for this scholarship. Number two is the international students from part of globe with any nationality who has diplomatic relationship with Japan. Uh, so uh, any uh, country, almost all the country has a diplomatic uh, relationship with Japan. So those country students are eligible for the scholarship. The third is candidate must be born uh, on or after April 2nd, 1987. If you, uh, if you was born before 1987, April 2, so in this case, you are not eligible. So you have to look into the age restriction eligibility criteria. This university is asking the students. First, look into it if you bought after 1987, April 2nd, on the same day or after this date, then you are eligible for this scholarship. The next uh, student must apply for academic study field applicant studies uh, at their previous university or a related field. So, same thing is you must have to apply at the similar or uh, the same area of, of study that you already got your degree in the from the previous university. Okay, I must have a bachelor degree when you're applying for a master, must have a master degree when you're applying for the PhD. If the student's native language is not English, now I then can submit English perfect certificate from the previous university and they are exempted from the language test. If your last degree was in English, simply you have to provide the letter of English language proficiency from your previous university. In this case, you don't need to go for any international English language proficiency exam okay so this is a wonderful news for international students so that's all about the eligibility criteria points now let's move to the second important financial benefit section that is i believe the most reflective part of this any scholarship application okay this is the international graduate scholarship 2023 japan and this is the uh, basically the governmental mext uh, scholarship program in this university in japan okay so what the university will provide the to international students tuition fee 100% waived off. So there is no need to pay any uh, application fee plus no tuition fee when you will get this scholarship. So wonderful news. Traveling cost around air fare ticket will be given from home country to Japan and from Japan to your home country the time of completion of your program. So initially when you will travel to Japan at that time you will get the first part of the uh, air, air fare ticket, okay? And when you will complete your degree from Japan to your home country, university will also provide the free air fare ticket of economy class. Okay, the third is monthly stipend. So what university is providing? Master degree, 147,000 Japanese yen per month. And for the PhD doctoral degree, 148,000 Japanese yen per month. I believe this is a very handsome amount with uh, 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 exemption of the tuition fee plus the traveling uh, benefit. So this is a great, great, I believe, uh, attraction for international students to pursue their master and the PhD program at Tokyo Institute of Technology in Japan. You know, Japan is one of the countries that the English in culture. Uh, they have a great uh, civilization that is a uh, historical country, they, they are uh, very social, they have a very strong uh, family structuring. There are many things. So people who travel Japan, they really love to live there. They really live to spend time in Japan because of uh, diversity in the culture in Japan. So that's why, and as well as you know, the, this university is on the 91st uh, position according to the QS ranking globally. So I believe in the win-win situation, if you will win this scholarship. The documents, I'm going to show what documents you have to prepare for this scholarship. ID photo, you need a passport size photo. You have to uh, manage or you have to arrange uh, this uh, document for this scholarship. Consent email letter from the Tokyo Tech Faculty member. This is acceptance letter. This, this is one of the mandatory requirements of this scholarship. You are going to uh, contact a faculty member from this university according to your area of study and you will request the acceptance letter that is one of the mandated requirements for this scholarship. I 
will explain further in the next section so how you can contact the supervisor what should be uh, uh, writing our email and how you can uh, convince a supervisor to be your potential supervisor number third is the field of study and the study program in the designated format summary of the thesis if uh, for phds if available if you have done a thesis in your master then you have to provide the, the summary of thesis and sometimes you have done a project during your master program in the previous university so also that's acceptable english proficiency score report so if your last degree was in english then you have to provide just the letter of english proficiency certificate from your previous university to fulfill the requirement of this scholarship application a copy of your passport or the residency card if you are living in your like your own country then passport if you live in another country where you have to provide the copy of the residency card the next is academic transcript so you have to provide bachelor and a master transcript if you are applying for the phd if you are applying for the master you have to provide on the bachelor transcript certificate of graduation and degree okay so one is certificate of degree mean diploma plus your transcript uh, sporting documentation from referee so this means you have to provide the recommendation letter normally university ask two recommendation letter for many professors from your previous university this is all about your list of documents that you have to prepare for this scholarship application so let's move to the next important section in the application process here the university has a restriction University is not providing the uh, online application submission platform publicly to all the students. They have here a restriction. They are asking first you have to contact a supervisor. After contacting the supervisor, you will uh, ask him or her to give you an acceptance letter based on your research proposal. Uh, if he or she is willing to be your potential supervisor, then we will provide you mean the admission office will provide you a link of application submission then you will upload all your documents and you will submit your application so in other way if you will be able to uh, get this reference i mean acceptance letter from uh, the professor of this university it means your uh, 95% of your uh, scholarships uh, is uh, uh, i mean uh, guaranteed like 95 percent you are gonna win this scholarship okay so those students only will be contacted by the admission office of this university who will get an, an acceptance letter okay so now the acceptance letter is a game changer a uh, document a game changer factor of this scholarship so uh, application process is contact with any intended supervisor by sending your cv and other documents if required to get an acceptance letter from their lab uh, after the acceptance letter uh, to the admission office they will provide you a link to the online application uh, prepare all the list of the above documents for the submission and assess the online application form and fill it completely and submit required documents okay so it's very clear mentioned here that you need first to contact a supervisor and get a acceptance letter now the question is this how to contact how can we find a supervisor okay that's i make this uh, process very easy for all international students so i am going to show how you can contact a supervisor okay so link is available in the description uh here you can see there are many different uh, departments uh so first you have to look into your area of study for example you are from mathematics and you are applying in the mathematics any of the uh the related art in the subfield of mathematics okay now here we have a complete list of all the professors from this department for example if you want to contact this professor so simply click on the research profile okay and here you can get the complete information of this professor the email address is our, our publication which uh, domain or which uh, dimension of uh, mathematics is working on auric id affiliation okay so everything is available here so you can find here all the uh, related information okay professor uh on which area of research or, or which area of study is working on publication okay projects grants uh courses and activities and related links you can easily uh, get from this link okay and then you can go also to write his or her name copy and go to the google scholar 
and you can also check his our uh, her profile okay so professor is here so he is uh, he is publishing articles on this area of research okay so here is all the information is available and then you have to contact this supervisor and then you can ask him or her to provide you an acceptance letter for this scholarship application okay so here we have all the professor you can find easily their information okay so information is available all information is available and you can get the information and contact the supervisor for acceptance letter okay so that is the number four the application process now what is the timeline of this scholarship application the deadline to apply for this scholarship at the university Tokyo university of technology is uh, october 15 2023 so i believe you have enough time uh, almost two months to uh, apply for this scholarship at this university and if you want to inquire any further information here is the uh, contact information, the General Inquiries International Student Exchange DVN. These are uh, the email addresses are available. Okay, so you can simply send an email in case if you want to inquire any further information related to this scholarship. That's all about, I believe, uh, uh, this is a very simple and straightforward process. And in this whole application package, the most important document is acceptance letter. So acceptance letter is a very important and crucial thing. Uh, you have to contact a supervisor. I'm also providing a link in the description. What should you write in your email? That's very professional. Uh, you shouldn't ask at the starting in the first email, I need acceptance letter. You first have to contact the supervisor, try to communicate with the supervisor and ask him or her, this is my idea. This is my research proposal. Are you interested? Uh, because I check your profile, I read your articles, we have the same area of research, so I will be, uh, uh, it, it will be a great honor if uh, I will be your potential uh, master or the PhD student and you will be my potential supervisor. And then after two or three uh, communication with the professor, then you can ask the professor, because this is a mandatory requirement of the acceptance letter in this university, uh, so that means I accept a letter. So please, could you please provide me accept a letter? I can assist you. I can help you. I can draft a acceptance letter. I can send you, and then I need your uh, signature and your stamp, and then I need to send that uh, acceptance letter to admission office at this university. Okay. Uh, so I'm very pretty sure through this way, uh, the professor will really like it, and professor will provide you an acceptance letter. So best of luck for this fully funded uh, Tokyo Institute. Technology, the Internet UX Scholarship in Japan. And if you are new to my channel, so please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon. You will get the notification of all my future videos on time. We have the WhatsApp group. You can simply scan this QR code appearing on the screen and join our WhatsApp group for further uh, inquiries or further information related to any scholarship application in any years. See you in the next video with more valuable information on scholarship, research, and jobs. Take care. Have a good day.